All right, everybody. In this section, we're going to talk about how genetics affect our fitness, and then we're also going to be going over how to assess our current levels of fitness. So with genetics, obviously, <clears throat> there's something called fitness genotypes, which are genetic variations to an individual's response to physical activity and exercise. Pretty much, fitness genotypes gauge how well you react to certain types of physical activity. For example, if you're you react better to strength training a certain way if you react better to running a certain way genetics do play a role when it comes down to fitness but i would say that one thing that plays an even bigger role is composition for example me i'm super long and lanky i don't i wouldn't necessarily react better to powerlifting in comparison to isolation workouts what that kind of means is i personally react better to bicep curls as opposed to squats for example i would say that yes genetics do play a role but I would say that body composition also plays just as big as a role. To learn more about fitness genotypes and the genetics behind it, just go to how do my genetics affect my fitness underneath the fitness pillar of the toolbox right here. Now we're going to learn how to assess our current levels of fitness. There are several ways to do this, but the methods in which are standardized and which are well known are the push-up method and the wall squats method. The steps for following all of those things are in the how do I assess my current levels of fitness under the fitness category and depending on your results this will gauge your overall levels of fitness obviously this is just a closed test it doesn't account for like long distance endurance like a lot of things but it does offer us a great gauge in terms of our seeing how fit we are if we're just going from sedentary to trying to be fit again going through the steps we've dived and explored understanding how do you do the macronutrients and stuff like that and then now we're really going to start layering and building the training plan by the goal consult with the professional and then now we're assess our level of fitness and then the next step we're going to learn about the different types of equipment and stuff like that and then we're going to learn how to build a training plan super exciting stuff see you soon